we saw the fox yesterday. I want to scare her off, uh, but I'll try to get a, a better setup there to get some better footage of her. But yeah, she's definitely living under the tiny barn. We saw her um, as we were getting the mail yesterday. So, uh, oh yeah, you like bone ropes. Yeah, you like bone ropes. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw the red fox. She was right in front of the tiny barn. Pretty cool that we have confirmation that she is indeed living under the tiny barn. Come on, sweetie. Yeah. A neighbor of ours tell us you know even if you are around and she knows you're there she's not going anywhere foxes tend to be pretty persistent with their homes so <laughs> there's no evicting the fox at this time which is fine with us we love them we love having the wildlife here and we try to give them their space and their privacy so that they can uh, raise their little ones safely free from harassment from our dog miles isn't too interested in wildlife he's actually made a very quick u-turn when he saw a skunk once i get too close just in case she's there but she would be right in under there yeah there was some disturbance there a lot of disturbance in the spring and we were like that's not a groundhog used to be a groundhog living under there but I don't know if you can see this but there's a fox in front of the tiny barn I love this time of year. We've got so many things coming up, I'm sure. Uh, we're hoping to get a little more footage of the red fox that's living under the barn. Uh, she's definitely there. I've got a really good photograph of her because she's so beautiful. Uh, but we have a wildlife camera set up there, so hopefully uh, it's taking some nice footage of her. Mm -hmm. 